Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 42 here on the frozen rock. Well, uh, first off, I am back from my summer vacation. Had a wonderful time up in Alaska catching fish is what the commander likes to do. And so back making videos, I had stockpiled a few videos to stay ahead so that while I was on vacation, I didn't have to worry about making any videos so I am back and uh, back to this uh, catastrophe of a mess and I think in the last video uh, I decided I was just gonna have to grind it down and basically start over on this so and then put it in right so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started here and I am going to uh, start grinding this stuff down, getting it out of the way. And I can do that while I'm talking here. So we might as well get rid of this. And we'll get this area kind of somewhat cleaned up. I'll probably leave these platforms in here for now. And then, uh, but I do have to... Oh, yeah, of course. Can I get to it? There we go. Uh, so I, I'll leave these in here for now. That gives me a bit of a platform to walk around on. And uh, I'll start getting this uh, all cleaned up in here. Let's go ahead and do this. And now yeah, that figures. Let's go down there and grab that. we go all right so let's see if I oh, what did I do get myself stuck down here uh, so when I get this ground down and I am ready to start building again I'll uh, catch back up with you all all right I'm back I got this uh, area pretty much cleaned up I don't have many steel plates on here, but I wanted to show you what we got going here. I want to start putting in uh, steel plates. Let me see something here. Uh, yeah, two. So, and, okay, I've already got the right color as well. So, let's do this. I need a conveyor pipe uh, flange just fine. And we're going to put that in right there. All right. So the idea is that we will put, we've got the one piston. I don't know if you can see it or not. We've got the one piston on this side. We'll go down here, which will push forward. Now, what we want to do is put another piston in, uh, pushing forward. So, in other words, we've got to put a, let's get us turn that down. I think that's what I want to do. And we will put... that right yep okay so we'll put that one in there now what I need to do now is since I I want to keep this kind of somewhat centered as to what it was because I want my drills in right about here although if I have to go off a little bit I should be able to kind of grind this out a little bit uh, but we want to put another pipe in here. Actually, if I turn it this away. I turn it that away. It's going to be my piston will come on to here now. All right. 
Let's uh, grab a piston. And it can go right here. Okay. And that's pushing forward. So when this one ends up all the way extended, then this one can take over. And that will push that on out. So let me uh, do this. Uh, one of the things I want to do is name these pistons as I am going along. Uh, let me... Uh, do I have a... I guess I'm going to have to go up above up here. And we'll hop in the control seat. And I should be able to... Uh, control panel. Let's go piston. And I should have one that's incomplete here. So, I sh this should become a coal piston number three. Let me double check something here. All right, so we have that piston there. That should be the connector, then that's connected. So that should be piston number two. Let's see if we can get over to here. And that is, that's coal piston number, so that's coal piston number two. Okay. Right, that should be one, that should be two. So we'll make that other one three. Alright, get the control panel. Uh, piston, we want this one. So this will be coal. Piston three. It's easier to name these as you're building them. That way you know exactly which one is which. If you get a bunch of pistons built, then all of a sudden uh, you forget. It's kind of a bear to figure out which is which. So I am going to finish getting the wireframe built on this. I'm probably going to have to go get steel. I have a bunch of uh, scrap to take back over to the refinery, so I'll do all of that. And uh, once I'm ready to start uh, uh, welding this up, I will uh, catch back up with you all. All right, I got my wireframe all in. I'm going to have to go get a bunch of parts, but let me show you what I've done here. So the original piston, you can kind of see it over there. That's piston number, actually that's piston number two because that's piston number one right there. So we've got piston number two right there in place and it's facing in the right direction. Now, if we go over here, my next piston, it's kind of hard to see, but it is right here. If you can see where the pointer is. That's piston number three. Again, that's facing in the proper direction uh, so that it will, <clears throat> once piston number two is completely extended, then this piston can extend. I then have, uh, well, let's hop down here. I then ran off of that piston conveyor tubes down and then 
came down through here and here's my piston number four so I'll have three pistons that will be pushing out through here and I might have just discovered a slight problem here uh, this might end up being in the way I might I might have to put uh, another piston in or another drill in down below here so that it can clear the path so this is not catching on on the stone here so I think that's what I'll end up doing I'll have to drill this out so I'll do that because I can easily attach another drill onto here because I don't yeah one more drill here should open that up enough and that should make that wide enough for all of this to fit down through there so I will go ahead and make that modification but again uh, that drill there is pushing so that's the fourth drill and here's the conduit that's running everything around so all the drills are facing in the right or all the pistons are facing in the right direction so all right so I will finish making the modifications here and uh, go get rid of the scrap that I have and start grabbing materials to start welding this up and as I get it partially welded I will uh, catch back up with you all all right just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an update on where I am at uh, as you can see I'm getting I'll, getting some of the stuff done uh, I still have to make more components or go get more components but I've got all my pistons done let's see if I can get down out of here uh, all right yeah so the piston on the other side is done this piston is done that piston is done uh, I just about got it linked up to the drills. These two drills are done. I've got components already added into the other three drills. So I have the three drills to finish and then I have my conveyor tubes to finish. And we should be getting close once I can gather up all the materials for these things. Let's get another look at this up through here. There we go. So you can see I have some uh, conveyor tubes that I still need to build out here on this side. And if we go around over here, uh, I've got some conveyor tubes on this side plus the drills. So just kind of wanted to give you an update on where I am at and hopefully we are going to get this finished today. Uh, I've already spent quite a bit of time on this but I will keep building away and uh, see if we can't get this uh, done today uh, and see if we can't actually get a working drilling system. This will work. I know it'll work. Uh, now that I got the pistons in correctly. And the other thing that uh, we would be able to do with this, since it has a rotor on there, uh, I can drill this out and then kind of move it a little bit and then drill in another direction till we have this completely all cleared out in here. So we will be able to mine a lot of coal, which we're not gonna need that much, I don't think. So anyway, while, uh, let me kind of, as I'm heading back to get more parts, let me kind of give you an idea on what my kind of plan is to, to, to do the season here. I've been playing this now, I'll, it'll be close to a year uh, coming up here in another couple of months, so a few more episodes. My ultimate goal for season one is to try to put in as much as I can on the base, utilize as many items that 
is in this uh, industrial overhaul and it's fun playing. Uh, we've got a coal mine in. Uh, we'll be able to do that. I've got uh, a lot of the other basic parts in. And let me see. Components. Uh, and we can just head over to the home base. Let's... Uh, So over here at the base, I've got just about all everything in that I need uh, to be able to build what I need. Ultimately, my goal is get to the point that I can get to outer space. And then I think that'll just about finish up the season uh, here. And because I've got an idea on my next uh, playthrough. I want to be able to, well, well, ultimately, and let you know, you can put in the comments on what you think about this. Ultimately, what I want to try to do is play a uh, salvage only. So, in other words, I've got a couple of mods that I'll place that's going to put uh, uh, different broken down ships and stuff like that in and around. And uh, I want to be able just to just go out there and salvage all of my parts that I'm going to need. I'm not going to do it in the industrial overhaul. I'll probably do it in the vanilla uh, with uh, some different mods added. Some of the mods that I like to use, that sort of thing. So that's kind of what I'm kind of looking at in the future anyway uh, to do a, a build on just uh, recovering scrap and getting all of my uh, uh, ores and stuff from that it'll be uh, a different kind of challenge that uh, uh, I think I'll enjoy playing anyway that's a little bit of an update on where I'm at let me start grabbing some more parts and see if we can't get that finished over there and I'll uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. Okay, I think I am just about ready to finish welding this up. I've got all the drills in place. So let's hop over here. Get lined up here. And let's get this one finished. And let's get this one finished. And I think I gotta jump down here. Got one here to do. And I think I got. Or, oh, I got one right up here. Let's get it from around over here on the other side, I think. And we've got green all the way through on our conveyor system. So we are all plugged in. This is this is done. That one's done. That drill's done. Okay. Now that we have that in place, let's uh, hop up and out of here. And first off, let's make a group. Well, we'll make sure that we've got everything set to share uh, inertial tensions. And then uh, we'll put a group for our drills. And then we'll kind of set this thing in motion and see what happens. Fingers crossed, man. All right. All right, let's... Uh, control panel. Just go coal. All right, let's do this. Let's make a group, call it coal drills. Oop. I better put a hyphen in there. Okay, coal drills and save. All right. 
So let's toggle the block on. Hop out and let's go take a look. They should all be going. All right, the top two are spinning away. Oh, I know what I got to do. I got to check. Uh, so the clang doesn't get us. Uh, let's check. Coal. Okay, the drills don't do any of that, so let's make sure that's on, that one's on, that one's on, and that one is not. Let's turn that one on. All right, so we should be fairly safe. All right, so piston two, it is set up. Maximum distance, we want it to go to 10. And let's get the reverse. Is it moving? Oh, let's hit reverse. Current position. That should be... Why is that not... Going forward. That should be... Make sure... Piston two. Minimum distance. Set that at ten. Kind of at a loss here. Why is that not? Why is the piston? It's on. I don't think I got anything blocking anything. is clearing. Nothing's blocking there. Oh, please don't tell me. They shouldn't have, I don't think. this, I think. All right, so that is... Let's uh, set this to a minus point one. Let's go to 
our other piston and set it at a minus point one. Okay, that one is Okay, that's the bottom one. Okay, and that's drilling out. Okay, that one is extending. Okay. We can let that one extend all the way. Okay, that one's extended all the way, all right. We now want, let's extend piston three. All right, control panel, let's go to piston three. Reverse. It's not moving. Well, those should be independent of each other. Unless somehow the damn thing's attached. Since they were stacked together. I hope that's not the case. Well, we're not going to mess around with this much more. Let me see if... I'm just not understanding. Let me go back to piston number two. That should be that this one here. All right, piston number two. That should... Uh... Well, son of a gun. Well, we got something to, to kind of drill away. And if I can't figure this out, we're just going to have to live with just the one piston. That's still going to give us plenty of coal. Uh to run the plant. But I'm disappointed that this piston, for whatever reason, 
is not extending out because it should. It's almost as if something is blocking it. Yeah, see, there's room into there. That should, even if these two ended up attaching to each other, piston number two still should, still should be pushing out. Uh, let me try one more thing here. Unless... Alright, let's go to piston number two. the piston is allowed to apply to blocking obstacles along its extending axis. Well, that should be enough. I'm not... Well, let's put this at a minus two. here. Five, zero, zero, zero. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think we're going to have to wrap this video up here. I've already spent a lot of time today uh, just getting to this point. Uh, I will kind of figure, go offline and see if I can figure out what's, what the problem is here. And, uh, uh, kind of call it good. All right, well, you get the general gist of it. If this, if I can't get these two pistons to independently push out like they're supposed to, then we're just going to live with the one piston, and we'll pull it back, and then we'll just uh, kind of uh, do a, a circle around through here to pick up more materials. I was certainly hoping to be able to push this out three piston links, but apparently we're not going to be able to do that. All right. Well, always, uh, always something with the commander here, right? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please hit the thumbs up on it if uh, you like it. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. Uh, uh, the more people that I can have subscribe. Uh, with that, we're going to call the video good. And all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Uh, keep trying new things. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.